Homestead OC here. We're here with the annual fruit garden update. And it's it's taken off, especially these squashes. You know, these, these things have gone nuts. Um, nobody's messing with them. Had some mice come in. So I've caught two mice in here with the traps. I planted lavender, which I heard they don't like, and mint, which I heard they don't like. More mint over here. And I also put a lavender and a mint there. That, that one currently is getting crowded out by the sweet potato vine. The papayas are, are doing pretty good. I haven't seen too much growth out of them. I, I thought I would get more. Our uh, jalapeno pepper is starting to come back from some, some butthole came through here and ate all the leaves. Um, our basil is doing really great. It's, it's doubled in size since the last video. I think that might have been three weeks ago. Uh, we got a mango back there. Comfrey, really, really going great. Uh, another comfrey down here and a rosemary tucked up underneath that. Over here we got, I believe it's, it's acorn and butternut, but I don't know, I forget what, which one's which, and I lost the, the little name tag thing, so I don't know. We'll just see what happens when they ripen. Uh, in the middle we got the patty pan squash, and at the end here we got the zucchini. Watermelon here. I just got two new pepper plants and some, some buttholes eating that one. So that's unfortunate. The other one here, that's a red bell pepper. This one's a yellow bell pepper. These two are starting to come back. They got a couple new shoots on them coming out, which is great. Some, something came in and ate it down to the stock. So mice just must really like pepper plant leaves. I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's on the drip water, it's doing great. And I put this uh, fence around here, as you can see, because these things got too big too fast and I, I wasn't really taking that into account. I don't know why, I, just, I thought I'd have more time underneath this little tunnel. But they just took off and built, I, building that thing was a waste of time. But I got a new purpose for it. I'm gonna reuse that for a chicken tunnel. I want to have something that goes underneath a fence or underneath an area and we can build like a, a little bridge over this or something like that so we can cross over the chicken area without having to hop a fence and so that is about it it's uh, it's grown fast uh, we haven't got any fruit off it but we got a few things a uh, few things coming um, my wife said we had a patty pan growing yeah right there we got a little baby patty pan <clears throat> you know what? look at that it's an even bigger one a couple big ones look at that <clears throat> and since we're over here might as well talk about our fig tree. Um, figs are on, and they're they're blowing up. They're getting purple. Things are starting to eat out of them. So they 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 all go. The harvest is maybe a month out of the year, and, and they just go crazy. So you got to be prepared for figs on. Um, we're gonna dry them, make, they're almost like fig leathers, but they're single figs and they're kind of bite size and we, uh, we dry them, we uh, vacuum seal them in mason jars and um, I put a little oxygen eater in there and I'm probably going overboard because they get eaten in a month too, so it's a nice thing to do. We're gonna do some some jelly and jams, or je probably a jam. I was inspired by a couple things um, to try this, but um, Skill Cult, uh, he, he was the second person to remind me of doing this. Well, 
my cousins were the first. They, they make apple butter every year. And uh, I never have been a part of it, never really cared. And then I saw Skill Colt's video on making apple butter. And it got me thinking, maybe trying to make some fig butter, <laughs> if, if there is such a thing. Um, so I, I wanna get, give a call to my cousins and find out what the recipe for apple butter is. I'll compare it to how Skill Colt did it and maybe try and find some of the recipes and uh, try and make some fig jam or some fig butter. That'd be a cool thing to send back to my cousins because they always, they always give me a, a jar of apple butter and some honey if I ask for it. <clears throat> um, we also have a pomegranate tree. I don't think pomegranate butter would work but it seems like it should because it is a palm fruit. Apples are palm fruits. Why can't you just make a blended palm butter? I don't know. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you get a chance, uh, check out Skill Colt's video on apple butter. It's, it's kind of what gave me some motivation. Um, there's a lot of videos that he's got that have given me a bit of motivation. So thanks, Skill Cult. Um, and uh, make sure and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Keep, keep up with my annual garden. If I get around to it, there's gonna be some biochar going in here. If not this season, it's definitely gonna be next season. I'm gonna rake off this mulch, mix in some biochar, just kind of hand till it recover with mulch and I'll plant that way and, and see what happens <clears throat> um, on all the trees I want to just mulch with it but before it gets that I'm just gonna make a bunch of biochar and throw it in here in the chicken coop and I'll let them mix this and do whatever for the for you know until it's um, dormant season's over and I'm just going to lay this down on every fruit tree. I'll scoop it out and give a big uh, bucket scoop to every fruit tree. Uh, or a wheelbarrow full, depending on how, how packed this place gets. Could, uh, could have uh, too, much, too many trees where the tractor doesn't fit through anymore, which would be, that's the end goal. But the tractor's here for the heavy work at the beginning. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out that video from Skill Cult. Thanks.